And we back! Today we're attempting the annual Triple Crown Rebuilding Challenge. I'ma load up into NBA 2K, MLB The Show, and Madden and try to rebuild a random team. And listen, we tried this during the 2021 cycle, and it did not go as planned. I went into it thinking it was gonna be sweet. I rebuild teams on 2K all the time, so how much different can MLB or Madden be? Well, it's completely different! But now, I know a little bit more about baseball, I know a little bit more about Madden, and I think I can get it done this year. And while we're on the topic of baseball, I got a whole another channel called Kenny Baseball, where we talk about baseball and I play MLB The Show. I'm just saying, if you enjoyed this video when Kenny talk about baseball, go over to the other channel, man. Go subscribe. All right, so the way it's going to work, I'm going to give myself three years on all three games. Obviously, I probably won't need three years on NBA 2K because I've been doing rebuilds for a thousand years on 2K, but I will probably need three years on MLB or Madden to kind of get in the swing of things. We're going to spin the wheel and get a random team on each game. Now, if I end up getting the best team in the league on all three games. Listen, it was the wheel working in our favor because they just want to see me be successful. But it's a possibility I get the worst team in each one too. So uh, only time will tell. All I need from you is to sit back, relax, leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I will say the basketball one is designed, the 2K one is designed to be the layup. Just in case I fail on MLB and Madden, this is supposed to be our layup. So whatever team we get, I might flat through. The NBA 2K portion might be six minutes max because I know what I'm doing. Uh, they gave me the OKC Thunder, which could be interesting because we got all the picks and Sam Presti's little duffel bag. Uh, let's get into it. All right, so we got the OKC Thunder. And I want to remind people, uh, these are not supposed to be realistic. The goal of this video is to just win the championship. So, OKC Thunder fans, if you want to see me do a realistic version of your team winning the championship, uh, just let me know and I'll do that in the future. But right now, my goal is to just get a ring. Don't worry about who's here and who's not. I think I might keep Shea around because he's a cheap contract player. But like, Josh Giddy, uh, valuable. You know what I'm saying? The young players on the team, valuable. Four-star value. Lou Dort, two-and-a-half star value. That's disrespectful. Trey Mann, three-star value. Poku, three-star value. Like, come on, bro. I got to do what I got to do. They are Maladon, two-and-a-half star. Then the first-round picks, you know is a million of them. So... In the world of no untouchables. And Kenny Beecham is getting the spot of Sam Presti? It's GG's, boy. Let me go ahead and make uh, 37 real quick trades for us to win this championship. Just look at this. Look how long I'm strolling to get through all of the picks. Lou Dort is being flipped. Uh, actually, nope, 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 nope. I was going to do that trade. And then I realized that Lou Dort's the same overall as Michael Porter Jr., basically. So it's like I'm not getting anything. This trade, I would be getting value in Ben Simmons. So I'll bring Ben Simmons to the team. Ben Simmons, Josh Giddy, our pick. I, I... <clears throat> so we got a backcourt that's gonna be pretty good. Go ahead, Moose over to the two. That's all I really need. And we got Draymond who we can flip. Best believe it. Best believe we will flip him. We'll flip him and Terrence Mann together with one of these picks from the Suns, I guess. We got Bam. We got a center. We got a point guard. We got a shooting guard. Okay. And now this is where things go into overdrive because this is about to be really easy. We just attach random players with picks and we just pick up the better player. And we do that over and over. They want to give us Josh Giddy back and Jordan Poole. I mean, I might have to do what I got to do and get Josh Giddy back. It might cost us two first-round picks, or do we just get Miles Bridges? You know what? I will try to do all, pull off this trade to get Jordan Poole without giving up that second first-round pick. They want Victor Oladipo. You can have Victor Oladipo without giving us anything more that's valuable to you. Give us Juan Toscano Anderson. They really want that pick. Uh, is this even worth it at this point? I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. We'll give you a second instead. Wait. Why am I acting like I don't got a lot of picks? Except, why am I acting like that was the only pick we got? You feel me? There's a million of these things. So we got Josh Giddy back, and we got Jordan Poole to be our sixth man. Cool. Josh Giddy thrown into a trade with Baisley and, and one of the picks. Okay, she's probably the easiest team we could have got, low-key. It's going to lead to Jaron Jackson Jr. and Desmond Bain. Are we ready to just simulate? Because, I mean, I could just make Bain be a three. I know he's a smaller three, a six-five. Star lineup right here is elite already. And we got Jordan Poole off the bench, Otto Porter off the... Let me go ahead and get this bench up. Like I said, the 2K portion was supposed to be easy. Well, it's not supposed to be easy. But with me being an experienced rebuilder of teams in this game, yeah, I made it easy. Actually, doing this video, doing this part of the video is actually really, really difficult. But you just got... You watching a master at work. That's what's happening. Cam Johnson, sure. Master at work. We got Cam, we got Jordan Poole, and we got Otto Porter. Who Actually, I'm going to flip Otto Porter. I still got Poku. Oh, GG's. I still got Poku. Poku's about to help us get somebody that's elite. Like Miles Bridges? Do, does that count? I mean, if he's going to be our backup, I guess that counts, right? Isaiah Thomas, our backup point guard. Don't really love that. Love IT. He can stay on the team, but I he definitely not be, going to be getting minutes for this team that I want to... I want a 16 no to playoffs. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my goal right now. 16 no to playoffs. Mitchell Robinson, welcome to the team. That's that center backup that we needed. And a backup. I didn't realize that Jordan Poole was classified as a point guard in this game. 
That's just let you know, I don't be playing this game. Give me a backup shooting guard and we can go simulate and we can go to the next game because we still got like four, five, six, seven first round picks that we could just throw into different trades. That is insane. I'm actually going to bring in um, Anthony Simons and we're going to move Jordan Poole over to a shooting guard. Boom, it's overall it's going to stay the same. That's our team. But you know what? I think I'd be crazy not to at least look at some of these picks. You know, do these two picks in the first rounder. Anthony Davis. I'll add Anthony Davis to the team. Yep, 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 yep. I got Anthony Davis. Okay. And then I'm going to go call the Lakers back and say, hey, we accidentally gave you one of the guys we really like. Can we somehow get him back? And the Lakers going to be like, yeah, because I'm going to flood them with picks. I don't need these picks. Take all of them if you need to. Take three of them. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they want to improve in my, uh, my quality of life. So I start lining up with Steph, Shea, Desmond, Jaron, and then Anthony Davis. Then off the bench, we got Miles Bridges, Jordan Poole, Mitchell Robinson, Cam Johnson, and Anthony Simons, the 10 man. I think we're good. First game of the season, Utah Jazz. Yep. I think we, I legit think that we could be a 70 win team. I think we could be a 70 win team. I'm going to do this though. Like I said, I got to at least try. Um. Uh... If you knew around here, because I'm guessing this video is going to hit the algorithm quite decent. In my videos, I play in the world what we call no untouchables. In a normal game of 2K, Giannis is an untouchable player. The Bucks would never trade him. But I've been doing rebuilds for so very long that I got bored with that way of gaming. So I got it so that nobody is considered untouchable in the entire game. If I wanted to put together the perfect package to get a Jokic or a Joel Embiid, I could do that. Oh, I see Nerlens Noel here. We looking for a center? Nerlens Noel could be that. Hold on. We actually gave up like three first round picks in the Jordan Poole trade. And now I'm kind of regretting that because we kind of need picks. But you know what I'm going to do? Go to the good old fashioned. James Ennis ain't hooped. Oh, we got 15 players right now? What the heck? So we're going to flip like Stanley Johnson in two seconds and hopefully get a first. And then hopefully we get like three to four first round picks or maybe two first round picks that we can flip it to more players. I'll take Iggy's money and then throw Iggy in a pick to get a first. This is how easy it can be. There's the 76 gave us a first round pick in B-Ball Paul. We just go with the highest overall player, two second rounders to get Otto Porter. And then we throw Otto Porter with one of these seconds and that's gonna get us a first, guaranteed. There you go, Philly again. But we don't want multiple Philly picks. We'll take one from the Bucks. There are some players here. I think this is an upgrade. We bring in Yusuf Nurkic, but mostly it's like Yusuf Nurkic in that pick. If I throw Yusuf Nurkic, Stanley Johnson, and the pick we just got, that's another upgrade, hopefully. DeJounte Murray is definitely not a center, but we can make this work by throwing DeJounte back in the trade finder with Javon in a second. And just like that, we finessed our way to DeAndre Aiden. That's it. Steph, Shea, Desmond, Giannis, DeAndre Aiden. 70 win team, easily. Luka won MVP. Um, I'm assuming that we were a really good team. DeJounte Murray won six man of the year. Okay, we did get defensive player in Giannis, and we won 72 games. So that's good. It's not greatest of all time good, but it's pretty close to it. Okay, can we just sweep through the playoffs so we can move on to the next game? Just sweep through. 16-0 run. Uh-huh, that's four. That's eight. That was, that was 12, but it, whoa, it was a lot closer than we wanted it to be. All right, so the Atlanta Hawks, are you last? Okay, you got swept. Cool, that's done. Let's move on to MLB The Show. And listen, as I mentioned earlier, there's a whole nother channel named Kenny Baseball that we do MLB The Show stuff. If you're interested in this part, hit that link in the description, but let's go see what team we got. I'm assuming it all 30, 30? I think it's 30. I think M uh, NFL is the only one with more than 30. I think it's 32. And for the people that's like, Kenny, what about NHL or FIFA? I don't know nothing about those sports. I would never. <gasps> oh, I thought we were about to get the White Sox, bro. Obviously. Obviously, that would have been the, the GOAT, but we got like a... We, we, if you know, you know, this is not going to be easy. That's all I'm saying. This is not going to be easy. So, uh, here we are in MLB The Show. Shout out to him. This is the worst team in all of baseball, according to MLB The Show. In real life, they haven't been that. But, like, according to ratings, they have the worst overall ranking. They are the worst contact team. They have the worst pitching in the league. The speed is bad. Usually, if you have a young team, at least y'all fast. Nope. The defense is about average, and the power is close to the bottom as well. And we only gonna have 5,000 fans coming to watch us. So, this is our lineup. Our best hitter overall person is our catcher, Sean Murphy. We got Sean Brown. We got a guy named Christian Piche, who's a really cool, good follow on Twitter. It's a bit rough. It's definitely a bit rough on this team. And actually, I'm using the official MLB to show rosters, and this guy doesn't even play for them anymore. He got, he got traded like three weeks ago. So I, MLB to show needs to pick that game up. I guess the little bit of a cheat code that you normally get when you're rebuilding teams in MLB to show and you want to do it fast, it's like if you have top 100 prospects, this little arrow thing next to this catcher's name, 
means he's a top 100 prospect or this guy's a top 100 prospect you throw those into like the trade fighter and occasionally you can get a superstar player because i only got three seasons so if i throw him and then sean Manaya, who ain't even on the team in real life and i say i want an mlb ready player who can i get oh and just like the um okc thunder thing these are not going to be realistic trades. I, I have to put that out there for the MLB to show fans. I am not out here trying to make the Oakland Athletics the greatest team in baseball using money ball and stuff like that. No. I'm just looking for players with A potential. I'm trying to get Vladdy Jr. If you know, you know. But like, bro, that's not happening. For the newer people, there's a bar at the top above the offer trade thing. And that just lets you know how interested a team is. So I'm just going around the league and saying like, Byron Buxton, they say no because the green it's green, which means that I don't have enough in my offer. Obviously, it would be cool to get Otani or Trout, but Otani hits free agency this year. I'm going to try to throw Otani a bag, and I mean a bag bag. Marcus Simeon, this is a trade that might be doable. I'll also give you Kevin Smith. Deal! Boom! We just traded for a 97 overall player, Marcus Simeon. This is funny because he spent a good portion of his career here already. And he's back. He tried to get away from this. He couldn't. You can't get away from us. You will always be a part of the Oakland Athletics. Well, I think we just simulate to start off this season. Go into around the trade deadline and maybe something materializes. I'm going to look and see who's on the trade block at that point. I will say, turn off all of these. I'm going to let my assistant GM do some stuff. But there is a feature in this game that I hate. They automatically start you off with automatic trades. Don't make no trades for my team. I, I'm not giving permission to do no trades. You can deal with injuries. You can do everything, but don't make trades and don't draft for me because I want to do my own drafting. All right, so we're uh, 22 games under 500. It ain't it ain't been going great. I say that we are the worst team in the division. Uh, is at least Marcus Simeon playing okay? He's hitting 307 with, with 21 home runs. He's killing it. He's killing the game right now. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, but what can we do to set ourselves up see look marcus simeon we made that trade he got a big old loan contract you know what i'm saying we ain't got to worry about trying to resign him him going to arbitration or none of that because he's here i also accidentally simulated through the draft and they, the draft class that we got was it was terrible my assistant gm did a terrible job our first round pick was a 49 overall with no potential that's ridiculous so that's my fault and it sets us back basically a year which is not ideal i'm gonna go over to the trade block and okay i see uh jd martinez I see Austin Meadows, who is 100% always on the trade block in this game. And I'm going to see, like, what do you want from us? They want a 37-year-old Steven Voigt. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. But he's re he's retiring after this season. They want a C overall first baseman. And then a third baseman who's only 21, but he got no potential anyway. That's the deal. Austin Meadows, welcome to Oakland. I do believe that him in a trade with maybe another piece or two could get us something nice because he's 23 years old. We aren't, we actually aren't getting anything at the deadline. Okay. All right. Well, the good thing is we can make this. Ooh, ooh. Tyler O'Neill, you say, huh? Hold on. The cards might have themselves a deal. You might have yourself a deal, Cardinals. Let me just make sure ain't no other trades out here. Now, I understand my pitching staff is terrible. There's Jared Walsh. Uh, but, hey, the Cardinals going to have themselves a deal. I think I have to go. Rafael Devers. I'm going to go with Devers. I'm going Devers. I'm going Devers, and I won't look back. All right? I will not look back. Rafael Devers, please come to the team and, and break for us. Cool. Wow. Now, we just traded two of our top prospects. I don't even think we have a top prospect in the game anymore. Oh, we do. We have this this guy. I'm saving him for next season. And yeah, so we just brought in two good players. I don't care about the postseason. Uh, whoever wins, wins. The Blue Jays won, and they beat the Braves. Cool. Are we ready for the offseason? Because the offseason is about to get really wonky. It's about to get insane over here in Oakland, baby. Yeah, you know I'm saying I don't think the Oakland Athletics have ever had an owner like me. And when I say like me, I, <laughs> I mean I'm here to spend moolah, money, dinero, pesos, every form of currency, every language you can say it in. I'm here to do that. They need a new manager. Yup. I don't know. Are you? He says he's got an A and he he's good at some stuff, so he's gonna be our new manager. Now I usually let my assistant GM deal with arbitration for a lot of these cases, but I will tell Rafael Devers that I'm willing to give you a four-year deal, and he's going to be happy. I can actually take some of the money down a little bit, and he's probably going to be happy with 60, 60. Let's just say 60 even. You're going to be one of our star players. And then Sean Murphy, I can tell you we could give you three. You know what I'm saying? Again, we're only doing three-year video anyway, so if we can save a little bit of money by telling him he's only going to be here for three. Frankie Montas, he's 30 years old. I mean, he's not going to be our ace. 
Yeah, you could be just a normal rotation player. You're not going to be on ace anymore. Robert, you're going to get traded. Max Muncy, the other Max Muncy, you're going to get traded. Oh, yeah. All of y'all. All of y'all. I could have swore that Otani was a free agent this year. I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong. But we do have like Aaron Nola, who's only 29 years old, who could grow with us. He got a six-year, $172 million contract from the Phillies. But I think what I wouldn't do... If I see Trey Turner is available, I have to go after Trey Turner. This dude is an absolute stud. We talking 276 amps. Yeah. Yeah, Dodgers. Y'all thought y'all had money? <laughs> Me? The, the new owner? We got money as well. So I also want to go out there and get a nice other pitcher. I want it to be Aaron Nola, but I don't know if I can match that contract because I just gave Trey Turner a lot of money. Is this enough for us to be in the lead for you? Oh, definitely is. Okay. Can we get two superstars? To add to this team already and i'm gonna go out there and try to steal adam frazier because even if he doesn't play for us we'll throw him in a trade down the line pop up max muncie went to detroit uh joe musgrove went to the dodgers aaron nola came here we need to see trey turner oh he's still here they took our offer off the table oh no you can't afford this offer oh snap okay all right no big deal no big deal no big deal this is not that big of a deal i see where our money is at we can afford that, and it's still enough for him to potentially sign. I never really thought about there being a salary cap or the amount of money in my personal bank account. I, I just thought I was a gazillionaire. No longer interested. This guy's no longer interested. This guy's no longer interested. Yeah, let's actually, let's, let's, hold on. Trey Turner did come, though. And now since Trey Turner's here, the rest of free agency, you can, you can deal with yourself. I trust the people that are in charge after I told myself I don't want to be in charge anymore. Right now, we have the 20th ranked team in the entirety of baseball. We have Trey Turner leading off. In right field, we got a dude that's a 60 overall. That cannot be the case. Tony Kemp can actually play the outfield. Let Tony Kemp get minutes or at bats over a guy that's that low. Stop it. 13th in contact and 13th in power. Our pitching staff is still kind of iffy, even when Aaron Nola here. We got this guy who was one of the top 100 prospects. You know what I got to do, right? <laughs> you got to understand. Things have to be done. Ian Anderson is 84 overall. He's only 24 years old with eight potential. So he's going to come in and be a part of our rotation. They already put him in there. Great. Okay. So now our rotation is not 25th. It's 23rd. First game of the season. We win 7-1. Uh-oh. Oh, we split the series. Okay. It's going to get better. Remember, it's a three-year challenge. So even if we don't compete this year... They're still next year. <laughs> we are in the playoff race. A little wild card race. I mean, I guess we're in a race for the entire division. We're only two games behind. And the pitching is still the thing that's holding us back, it looks like. Aaron Nola comes in. He's at 381. Ian Anderson has been a really good trade for us. He has a 255. But the pitching staff has still been kind of weak. And I'm guessing a lot of that is our bullpen. I didn't even really realize that our bullpen was so bad. So we got to go out there. Our starter pitcher might be doing this job, but the rest is not. Marcus Simeon has 23 home runs, hitting 272. Meadows is hitting 316. So the bats are working. I need to figure out what to do when our pitchers need rest. Kendall Graveman's under contract for a few seasons, and he might be regressing a little bit. But he has a 282. What, what do y'all what do y'all want for him? Let me see. They want a 66 overall player. That's it. I don't even... Or 65. You know what? I'd rather give you the 65. Take it. Oh, my God. Trisha McKenzie's out there just chilling. We got somebody in our, for our bullpen. Actually, I'm going to ask them, too. Everybody that's on the market. Do we have something you want? They want one of our bullpen arms who's bad and then two people that are also bad. Do I just need to go around the league and just start finessing for, like, good people that can come into our bullpen look at that but the problem is i can trade for like a starting pitcher and just tell him you're gonna be coming off the out of the bullpen and then the morale just goes down the morale tanks but should we care maybe not maybe we should but i don't know i'm gonna, I'm gonna test it like corbin martin is slightly better than what we have so i'm gonna trade for corbin martin and hopefully they just put him over here as a long end reliever okay great are those the trades that's gonna guarantee us a playoff spot maybe what was our pitching? Our pitching was like at 20 something, right? Before that. Now it's at 11th. Oh, snap. Okay. Go to the, get to the playoffs, o Oakland. Get to the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Keep hooping. No, it's not hooping. And we're like, we're going to sit around 10 to hopefully 15 games over 500. Ladies and gentlemen, we might be heading to the playoffs. We are, look like we might be at the bare minimum, a wild card spot. Which, hey, as long as I get in, anything can happen once you're there. We're a game and a half out of the wild card. I just realized that we were three and seven on our last 10. So we got we to gotta pick it back up. We're going against the White Sox this series. They are really good. That's not ideal to be having to go against them right now and get swept by them. That's not great. Okay. All right. Let's get to the end of the season. Whatever happens, happens. The Athletics have finished the season 84 and 78. Unfortunately, it wasn't good enough to make the postseason. Better luck next season. 
uh, yeah, we need to make it next season or we fail the challenge. We need <laughs> to get another outfielder that we, we trust. Even Seth Brown was playing more like DH role for us. We have Ian Happ here who has power, but more specifically power against righties more than anything. He's already got one offer, but it's not a good one. J.D. Martinez is so old that I wouldn't even want to offer him that. So we actually have a decent amount of options for an outfield bat. And Hunter Renfro might be the cheapest of all of them. This is my last year, so I don't mind adding years to a contract because I delete the save file right after we're done with the video. You feel me? So I'm not even tripping. Hunter Renfro did not come here, by the way. He went to Atlanta, I think it said. So we lost out on Hunter Renfro. It's no big deal. No big deal. No big deal. We also need to try to improve our pitching too. So we have uh, some stuff to do. Jacob DeGrom has no offers, bro. Literally zero. Frankie Montas is making 10 mil. Him and a prospect, like uh, this guy to be a prospect here that's worth something that's under contract. Here's Joey Gallo. And if we're, we're looking for power, well, there you have it. Uh, the Guardians have him and they will be willing to give us him. And there's not a lot of trades for him. I know Joey Gallo's contract is huge. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Oh, dubs. So yeah, we just lost a um, a starting pitcher, something that we desperately needed. But I believe in my ability to get that production back. My actual draft class this year, I, I simulated it was pretty decent. There's this one guy who's very bad. He's a 49 overall, but he's a top 100 prospect in the league. I'm throwing him... Uh, Ramon and then Cole Irving for a little bit more pitching. Seth Brown is going to be in the outfield now. Uh, I can move Joey Gallo to first base because he can play that. So let's just say Joey Gallo's first base for now. And then we got to figure out the rest of this. We got another top 100 prospects here. So I'm throwing him in a trade because this is our last season. I got nothing to lose right now. You're now Alvarez. Let's go look at the Astros and see what type of money he's making. He's probably got paid by now. He has not. I think we have to do the Jordan Alvarez trade because it saves us money. Yeah, I think we sacrificed Trey Turner to get Jordan Alvarez who's going to play some outfield. But with that trade, we, we freed up so much money that we can afford to just throw smaller contracts that might have good potential into the trade finder and get something at least decent. Uh, so we traded away a shortstop and Bo Bichette is here. So let's go get a shortstop. Look at that. We traded Trey Turner away, got Bo Bichette instead. And what's Bo Bichette's contract like? He hits arbitration next season. So he's nothing right now. The lineup is great, I think. We're going to run Joey Gallo at first base. This guy's been played by Benny Montgomery because Benny Montgomery is obviously the greatest fielder of all time, whoever he is, thank you. I didn't realize that we had a plethora, and I mean a plethora of left-handed batters in our lineup. I don't know how much that matters in this game, but it is or what it is. The last trades we do is to get that pitching number from 13 to at least Top eight, seven. So we're going to get Michael King, who in real life is an actual stud. Ah, uh, um, deal. We have the third ranked team, top five rotation in bullpen with Kendall Graven, Michael King, and then Crochet. Our lineup is actually low key fire as well. But again, they put Joey Gallo back here. And I, I told them, don't do that. Joey Gallo is our first baseman. And then Benny. Benny, Benny boy, is our center fielder. Let's go win a World Series. Oh my God. Let's go win a World Series. We sweep the first series. Oh, we ain't gonna lose. Okay. All right. This is the most confident I've ever been. Now, baseball playoffs are a lot different than basketball playoffs, if you didn't know. And oh, snap. I'm already saying playoffs. We just six games over 500 now. I thought we was killing it. Anything can happen is basically the point I'm making. It, the best team don't always win a series. It's just baseball is weird like that. The Astros and the Angels are both really good as well. So there's a world where we don't even make the playoffs because both of those teams are ridiculous. I'm going to go over to the trade finder or just see who's on the market. Arkady, I think that's how you pronounce it. Welcome to the team, bro. It's not often you can get an all-star caliber pitcher for the low. He's, he has a 387 and that just makes our rotation just better. And our lineup did not have to suffer to make that happen. So I'm hopefully see y'all at the end of the season. And we are going to be in the playoffs. Congratulations. We made the postseason. Okay. It's not over. It's not over. We're in the wild card. We are in the wild card against the Astros. Okay. Are we healthy? Boba Shed is back. Let's work with this lineup. Let's work this lineup out. Joey Gallo, you are 100% running first base for us. We let Benny come in and be our center fielder because he's just better. He's just better than whoever the heck was there. And then our catch and play. I, I guess our starting catcher and Murphy is injured or something, which is kind of a big blow. But we got to do what we got to do, man. I think we're going to have to manage this one or something. We're on the road. We're at Minute Maid. Let's get it. Pop out. P ground out. Strike out. Not the greatest start. Um. 
We traded Trey Turner, and the first batter of the game, he hit a home run on us. What a revenge. Double, two runs given up in the first inning, three runs given up in the first inning. Wow. So whoever's pitching, Rodriguez is doing one heck of a job preventing us from getting on the board. And now they got ducks on the pond. We pitching change, and we putting in um, this guy. Field his choice. They scored a run. We're done with y'all. Dang. We have bases loaded. Jordan Alvarez up to bat. Now, they traded him so he could do the same thing Trey Turner did to hit a home run. He hit a double. Tie game, baby. Bases loaded for Rafael Devers, and he gets a run in. Jordan Alvarez is back. He lined out. We are up on the game, and we got a strike out there. Okay, Trey Turner's at the top. We still got really good energy from Jose, so I don't feel like we had to pull him. Ground out, single, pitch runner, fly out, fly out. Okay. Winnable. Just close out the game. Some more run support wouldn't hurt. Some more run support wouldn't hurt. Bases loaded again. Oh, uh, Marcus Simeon, that's game. Stop playing. I don't care what they do. They're not putting up six. They're not putting up six. And we get out of there at a game that we thought was lost. Now, the only problem is we uh, we threw three of our pitchers, our starting pitchers, to even secure that spot. So we might get hurt a little bit against the, the Angels. We win game one. We lose game two. We win game three. One more game. Dang, we're going to an elimination game. Woo! If you're enjoying the video, leave a like, bro. These videos are always so, so fun. Okay, we scored a run, a double, then Austin Meadows knocks him in. Two people on with Boba Shed back up. Two more runs are scored by a triple. Come on, Benny, keep it a wrap. Benny with a triple. We got four runs up in the first two innings. That might be all she wrote already. Single for them, uh-huh. That might be all she wrote. Crochet, get in there. Strike out. Single. Walk. Crochet, I swear to God. We're out of there. Woo! Yes, sir, Ski. Okay, so we are in the ALCS to go against the Blue Jays. Uh-huh. From the wild card to the ALCS. We're up 2-1. Make that 3-1. One more game, we're in the World Series. But we go to another winner go home game. Why do my boys like these games so much? One run is scored of a single from, I think that was Austin Meadows. Shout out to him. Jax has been really good for us. You know what I'm saying? As a guy that is a backup catcher, he's been pretty solid throughout this playoff run. Solo shot for, for Rafael Devers. We're up 2-0. A double from Seth Brown. Man on third with two outs. Run run is scored. Shout out to Montgomery. Hit by pitch. Jordan Alvarez, give me a home run. No good. Okay. All right, it's time. It's 2-1 after solo shot by Kevin Biggio. Let's bring in uh, Michael King to get these last outs. He's going against Vladdy Jr. A fly out. From El Reyes, got a lot of power, but he grounded out. Okay, more run support would be dope. Single, strikeout, single, ground out. A base hit right here would be big, Seth. He struck out. Dang. All right, Crochet. Lock this game down, baby. Lock this game down. Fly out. Fly out. Pitch hitter is Lurie Garcia. We are in the World Series. Ladies and gentlemen, and we're going against the Cubs in the World Series. Game one, we lose by a ton. Game two, we lose. No way. Okay, fight. Dang. We're down 3 0. Oh my God. From the wild card to the World Series to losing in the World Series. We just failed the challenge, bro. Wow. I thought we put together a really good team. It hurts that we weren't at full strength. But like I said, our backup catcher did a, a really, really good job with Sean Murphy being injured. I mean, in the playoffs, he hit 235. I guess that's not great, but he felt good when I was simulating and stuff. It would have helped to be fully healthy, but hey, you can't win them all. All right, here's the wheel of NFL teams. I will admit, the NFL is the, the league that I know the least about. So I'm going into this one, not completely blind, but with not a lot of experience. It looks like we are getting the Pittsburgh Steelers, who, if I'm not mistaken, are pretty bad. I could be mistaken, but I don't... I they're good. I was right. They're the 78 overall, which is not completely terrible, but also uh, not very good. Okay, so we are 0 0, and our overall is a 79. That's not too bad, right? Bro, just let you know I have not played this game. They're teaching me how to do it. They're teaching me what to do and how to do it. I don't even know who's on this team. So I got TJ Watts, a 96, which is pretty good. We got Cameron Hayward. We got Minka Fitzpatrick. Who's our quarterback on this team? Dwayne Has, oh, bro, that's that's wild. Rest in peace to Dwayne Haskins, man. We really just don't have a good quarterback, so I'm guessing we're gonna be bad this season and hopefully get a high draft pick. There might be a good quarterback in this draft if we're really bad, 
but I've never done the scouting before. I'm putting it on automatic. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm putting it on automatic. I know that's an option. You know, it is what it is. You know, I just gotta, I gotta go in and do what I gotta do. Go to free agency, spend some cash. Maybe there's cash to be spent. Maybe there's not. Maybe this is just a team that, that will be okay to, no matter what. No matter what, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, we got like the 14th pick. We're not about to get a stud quarterback at 14th pick. Okay, so what if I trade the pick? You know what I'm saying? I could use that pick to go out and get a... Maybe there's a disgruntled quarterback out there. I feel like every season, just somebody, and I be seeing quarterbacks get moved left and right. So I, maybe there is a shot. I think Juju Smith-Schuster actually got traded in real life. And uh, he's still on my team right now, so... I'm offering him a contract. $73 million in cap space available. So that's fun. Okay, what positions are of need right now? Probably most of them, if not all of them. So, but I can definitely go in and look at Hayward, who's got literal zero offers right now, and offer him some. A little one year joint then. Give him a little one year joint. He got no offers, so we'll give him a little eight M's with a little sign in bonus. Uh huh. Okay, so we actually ended up having a pretty fire for agency class. I kind of just went out there and signed big names. Maybe that's not the greatest thing to do, but we got Teron Armstead. We got Casey Hayward, who you saw me sign on a one-year deal. And then we got Sebastian Joseph Day to uh, help with the pass and run defense. He's got no... I'm just looking at people that have no offers and, like, lowballing people. If you ain't got no offer whatsoever, you might as well get your value back up and you right back on the market. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking. Help us be at least solid this year. And you right back on the market. I'll sign Cam to be a, ba a backup to whoever we end up drafting, I guess. I uh, didn't think it was too bad. I actually let my assistant go out and sign more people. So he got in like Blaine Gabbard. I have to take QB. Pray that there's an okay, decent potential QB available at this point in the draft. There's a quarterback here. Projected first round talent. I, did I do any? We didn't do any scouting on him, huh? This guy is projected to go first, second round. How do I look at, like, him? Okay. Okay, so we know a little bit. We know a little bit. He's from Notre Dame. I don't know enough about this game. This guy is jumping up 36, but we didn't even scout him enough. Listen, I, I'm going to go with um, Matias. Matias Colin. Colin. That's my pick, bro. All right, he's got Norman development, which is not great. But, hey, his qu question mark on the overall. <sighs> Boy, this is rough. That was rough. I don't even know where to go to look at the draft. I drafted that first player that simulated the rest. I didn't do no scouting and I didn't realize how important scouting was for this. So I just let my assistant do the thing. So we saw that he already had normal dev, but he's a 76. He's a 76 with normal dev. We got a rookie wide receiver, Martin McLeod. He's got 93 speed. All right, so here we are. I literally don't know what to do from this point. So I think we just start simulating. First game of the season. I don't want to play. I'm sorry, advance the week. And we'll see how well we do. Uh, can we start off this year with the new quarterback and the new people we signed with a dub? We do. Yes, sir. The defense is an 87. The offense is still not that great because our QB is only a 76. But if we can look past that and maybe his development increases as we go on and they do challenges and stuff, we might be in a good spot, bro. This is year two, technically. So we have to be at least decent. And we 2-0. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's go to midseason on this. I feel good. Yo, we were 14-3. and three. We We're 14-3. and three. Oh, my God. There's no way, bro, was not rookie of the year. Leading as the starting quarterback on a 14-3 and three team. There's no way. He was ninth in passing yards. How, how do I? Awards, 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 awards. Yearly awards. Um, MVP went to Justin Herbert and the entire league, but... I don't even know. Are we in the AFC or the NFC? Offensive Rookie of the Year. There he is. Okay. But we did get Offensive Rookie of the Year for our boy. And we are in the AFC. Okay. So now that I know that we're in the AFC, let's see if we get anything else. We got Best O-Lineman, a guy we picked up out of free agency. That's a dub. Third and Best Linebacker in TJ Watt. And we ended up having the eighth best offense as far as total yards go. Only three losses. This is our best opportunity to win the World Series. Uh, nope. The Super Bowl. Jeez. I'm just... I'm out of it, y'all. I'm out of it. Come on. Come on. Playoff time. Here we come. Uh, we got to see who our matchup is. It is the Bengals who are 10 and 7. The overalls of the team are quite similar. We are in the same division as them. And I would assume that we probably beat them early. I couldn't I couldn't tell you. We have three losses. They could, could have been one of the three teams to beat us. We can't even see if we won until it's all over. Jeez. The anxiety. We won. And it's, can I see how we won? 
We put up 38 points in this one. Four touchdowns, one interception for Colin. 38 points. And now we go against the Jags, who won by one touchdown against Kansas City and then won by five points against the Browns. I need this one because we did it get MLB the show. I, I got to walk out of here two and one at the very minimum. Get me out of here. Let's get to this Super Bowl. We won. Oh my God. We're going against the Vikings in the Super Bowl. We are Super Bowl bound. And yeah, go ahead, upgrade all of these people. This would be the fastest championship I've ever won. I didn't even know if I, I signed to people free agency and I drafted a stud. They are only nine and eight. We're better. We're better. Oh my God, we are so much better. Okay, another upgrade of these players. My quarterback is getting upgraded. Perfect. Okay, all right. Simulate the Super Bowl. Simulate the Super Bowl. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Simulate the Super Bowl. We won! Da -da -da, Super Bowl 57 is won by the Steelers. Oh my God, we had the number one defense points per game and then the number eight offense. And that was all she wrote. Season 2023, 20, look at the recap, baby. Super Bowl MVP is our rookie that we got at 14th, 15th overall. And just like that, we did it. Two or three of the Triple Crown Challenge. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please, please leave a like. And let me know in the comment section that you finished it by saying, uh, Colin the GOAT, C-O-L-O-N. That guy just really, as a rookie, led his team to the Super Bowl and won. Mind blown. Again, another year where technically we were unsuccessful. But I'll be back next year. I will be better then. And I'll be better the year after that. We're going to complete it eventually.